In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can represent a percent. So, usually, you might see something like this, 25%. Here are some other examples, 75%. We could have something like this, 23.5%. Or we could even have something like this, 132%. Percent. So what does percent mean? Well, percent really just means out of 100. So if you can remember that, that percent means out of 100. So 25% means 25 out of 100. So if we said 25% of people choose fries over salad for their meal, then what that would mean is if there were 100 people, 25 of them would prefer fries rather than salad. So percent is always out of 100. 75% would refer to 75 things out of 100. 23.5% would mean there's 23.5 things out of 100. And 132% would mean 132 out of 100. And we'll talk about what, what that might look like a little later in the video. But what I'm going to show you here now is how we can represent what these percentages are using a hundreds grid. So remember we said we said that percent was meant out of a hundred. So what I have here is I have a what's called a hundreds grid. And you can see that this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten squares by ten squares this way. So there's a hundred squares in total here. So if I wanted to represent 25%, what I can do is I can start shading 25 of these squares. Well, we know this whole bottom row is 10. And up here is another 10. So, so far I have shaded or represented 20%. But I need to represent 25, so I will do 5 more. So this little block here, all shaded in, would represent 25%, because I have shaded 25 out of 100 squares, which is what 25% means. So 25%, or some of you could see that 25 out of 100 is the same thing as a quarter. So I've shaded a quarter of this grid. Now what if we were asked to shade 75%? So 75% means 75 out of 100. So I would have to shade 75 of these squares. Well, this would be 10 squares across here. 20 if we shaded that whole row. 30, 40 rather, 50, 60, so 7, keep right, 75, 70, so if I shade this first row, that's 10 squares, now I've done 20, I'm going to shade all the way up here to 70, okay, so I'm going to shade, shade all of these squares here, so now I've shaded 70%. I need to do 75, so 1, 2, 3, 4, count 5 more squares. And once I have those all shaded in, I've now shaded in 75%, or 75 out of 100, on my grid. So this red part would represent 75%, 75 out of 100. Well, what if we had 23.5%? So that means we've got to shade 23.5 out of 100 squares. So I could start shading 10 here. So I've shaded 10. Shade the bottom row. There's 10. Shade the next row up. So that would give me 20%. And now I've got to shade three more, so maybe I'll shade this one. One, two, three. So there's 
And then I've got to shade a half of a square. So I've shaded the bottom two rows. That's 20, 10, 20. There's 23. And so what I'll do is I'll maybe just shade half of this square. And this would represent 23 and a half percent. And what you might might see um, the textbook do is it might just take that square and blow it up so that it's easy to see. So there's there's the square just blown up bigger, and then you can see that half of that square has been shaded. So when you have a decimal, you'll have to you'll have to shade part of one square. Let's look at another example where we're using decimals. So maybe we've got to do 18 and 3 quarters of a percent. Well, 18 would mean I'm going to shade the whole bottom row. There's 10. That gives me 10 percent. Now I've got to shade 8 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's 18. One of the squares, let's take this one here, and I've got to shade three, three out of four, three quarters. So if I took this square and I divided it up into four pieces, I'm going to shade three out of the four. And then if, if we want, we could blow that up, blow that, la that little square up there so that people can see that there is four parts to it, and for, we've got to shade three out of the four. So this would represent 18. I got 18 full squares uh, shaded, and then three quarters of another sh uh, square. So I've divided it into four parts, four parts, and the top number tells me to shade three, three out of four. Shade three out of the four parts. So that's how we can also use hundreds grids to um, represent percents when we have uh, fractions or, or decimals. Well, what if we had a percent more than 100, like 143%? And you might say, well, how is that possible? How could you have 143 out of 100? And in a lot of applications or a lot of situations, you can't have more than 100%. But there are some scenarios where it does make sense. For instance, let's say that you were recommended to eat 100 calories at a, for a snack. So the recommendation was you had 100 calories, but your little snack that you ate had 143 calories in it. Then you can say that you had more than the recommended um, calories that you should have had for your snack. So you could say you had 143% of the recommended calories. So in other words, you had more than what was recommended, more than what, what should have been. So if I were to shade 143, represent 143% using shadings, it's the same thing. I'm going to shade 143 squares. So I would shade one whole box and I'm doing this kind of messy. Maybe I can make my pen a little bit thicker. Does that help? Oh, it's pretty slow too. Okay, so they're shading the whole thing. There represents 100%. And then I also need to do 40, 43 more. So I got to shade that one, that one, that one, that one. So there would be 40. and three more. Okay, so this would represent 143%. One whole box filled in, that's 100%. And then 43 of a second one. And so this would represent 143%. And in our final example, let's say we had to shade 200 and one-third percent, then 203rd percent, 200, means I need to shade two of these things. I think I got a bit of a thicker pen here now. Let's 
So I'd shade one of these entirely in. And I'd shade another hundredths grid entirely in. So this would now be 200%. So 100, 200. Here's another 100%. So that's a total of 200. And then I have to do one third of the next one. So we would divide that little piece, we can blow it up again, we would divide it into thirds, three pieces, three parts, shade one. So shade one out of three. So this little picture here would represent the uh, 200 and one third percent. So that's how we can represent percents using uh, hundreds grids.